Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a card that features some lawn fawn stamps and dies and also talks about how you can customize a sentiment to get the exact look that you want. I have some of the dinosaurs, the stegosaurus from Critters in the Past and I had stamped them and cut them out with the dies and I used my Inktense pencils to watercolor them. But today I wanted to focus on the sentiment instead and how I created that custom rainbow sentiment to go with my custom rainbow dinosaur. So I took this You Color My World sentiment from a small Lawn Fawn stamp set and by the same name I believe it's called Color My World and I'm going to stamp it down with Memento Angel Pink Ink. This is the same kind of ink you would use if you wanted to do Copic no line coloring because you can easily cover it with your markers and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Now the other thing you could do is cut apart your stamp or mask your stamp and use different inks on the stamp. So I could have masked off the word color and stamped just you my world in black and that would be easier for some people because you have to have a kind of a steady hand to trace it and I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black marker to trace over it anyway so you could get a similar effect by just stamping it but since I did want to do a rainbow of color on the middle sentiment I felt like it was easier just to trace everything and so I'm going to be using my distress markers to trace over the letters again this technique definitely requires a steady hand you have to feel comfortable tracing it over and I might recommend practicing a few times but it's something that I felt confident doing and the other possibility is if to create a to create several colors on one stamp you could take these distress markers and color in the stamps and then stamp them so if I had the sentiment on an acrylic block I could just color each color on the block and then I always recommend for you to like huff essentially or like blow some air on the the sentiment to reactivate that ink a little bit, get it a little bit more wet, and you can stamp it down. But I found that that was considerably less vibrant, and I really wanted that vibrant look because the ink tense pencils that I used to color the dinosaurs are so vibrant. So if you want a really like clear, strong color, you can apply it directly to the paper by stamping it in a really light color, such as the angel pink, and then applying some markers over it. And once I have that all traced out, this is going to be a clean and simple card. And I could see recreating it with a lot of different critters. You know, maybe something with spots. When I showed this card to my sister, she decided to use the Critters in the Jungle Leopard. And she gave him rainbow spots and recreated this card. And I'm going to attach the colored dinosaur with some foam tape just for a little bit of interest because there's a lot of white space and then the panel that I'm working on is many of you might already know is a lawn fawn stitch rectangle panel it's the largest of the small ones and it's just some Georgia Pacific white cardstock so anyway that's it for the card today if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you're interested in more crafty videos you can subscribe to my channel and I'll leave links to some of the products in the video description below thanks for watching bye